Hey guys, welcome to another video. You'll notice it's not Mia in front of the camera. Uh, my name is Rick. I do a lot of the behind the scenes with M3DM and I've been taking over a lot of the 3D printing that we do here. So today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about layer height and what it means and the different uses for lower and higher layer heights. All right, so the test I did to show the different layer heights was I took the same print and printed it four different times using the four presets in the Cura Slicer. Layer height can often be thought of as the resolution of your print. So you can think of it as a TV. If you have fewer pixels, you're not gonna get that much resolution out of it, but if you have a lot of pixels, the image becomes a lot more clear. Uh, so that's kind of what's going on over here. So if you have more layers building your print, it's a higher resolution, you're gonna get more detail. And that's why you can print things this small and get quite a bit of detail out of them. But there are uses for having a higher uh, layer height and that would be for doing stuff that's big like that so even though this is a, a higher layer height you're not noticing the lower resolution as much because the print itself is so big you don't really need that many layers not to mention if you printed this at a 0.12 layer height like this was this print is taking days to finish so these are the four prints that I'm using for the video. It's actually our crypt from our most recent Kickstarter. Uh, it was Halloween themed. So if you guys do want to pick this model up and print it yourselves, I'll have a link in the description so you can print it for free. So the four different layer heights we have here are printed at 0.12 millimeters, 0.16 millimeters, 0.2 millimeters, and 0.28 millimeters. Once again, these are the default printing profiles in Cura. If you'd like to download the slicer yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, so now let's take this model and let's zoom in and get a closer look. Having all the models side by side, we can clearly see what different layer heights look like up close. We can also see side by side the 0.12 millimeter and the 0.28 millimeter models side by side, and we can really get an idea of how much these prints are starting to change as we increase or lower the layer heights. In this example, we can start to see some of the detail of the model. I was actually pretty surprised when I saw the results of this test. You'll notice that between the 0.12 millimeter and the 0.28 millimeter models, you're not losing a whole lot of detail. I was actually expecting to lose a lot more than this. This might be an indicator that it might be worth trading the quality for the faster print times. Here we can see the faces of a couple skulls. With the 0.12 millimeter model, you can see that they do have faces and then on the 0.28 millimeter model, not really. So this is a good example of losing detail, but I still am a little shocked that the 0.28 millimeter model has as much detail as it does. So overall, you just need to pick whatever layer height's best for whatever you're printing. You might need some really small layers, really tight for small models like this. Or if you want to cut your print times down, you don't want to wait two days, then you can, you know, increase your layer height and make some really cool stuff like this. So thanks for bearing through the video. This is my first time being in a YouTube video. I'm used to being behind the camera filming Mia. And don't worry, she'll be back in some future videos. Uh, but until then, I'm going to keep getting better at this. And you'll see me start to take over more of the, the 3D printing hardware videos like this. So anyway, thanks for watching.